Alrighty, hey, welcome, welcome to, to Pathfinder. Pathfinder UHC Season 13, An Unknown Path. I don't know anything. I'm here with a teammate. Who am I? And that's, all, that's about all I know. I don't know. Uh, yeah. There's chickens in this plains, by the way. Mr. Teammate person. <laughs> Can you just call me that the whole season? Okay, yeah, sure. See, part of the Mr. catch is you can't even know who who we're teamed with. You have to go see their perspective yeah. if you want to. Yep, so to, since nobody watches the pregame anymore, I'm just going to lay out what the scenarios are. Uh, secret friendship teams. So we're teaming with people we've never teamed with before in a recorded round. Everyone is. And you don't know who is on another team. Um, and then there's naked and afraid. So everyone is not going to be wearing armor, even though... People will be wearing armor. Um, what else is there? I'm missing something. Mr. Teammate person, help me out here. Um, there's something else? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I think it's just that the kill board is hidden. I think that's... I don't know if that's entirely a scenario, but the kill board is going to be... Oh, yeah. There's just no kill board. Yeah. So you can't really see yeah, if someone's just, snowballing uh, or not. Secret teams... Uh, no health in tab, but most of us have unbound tab because the anon script was not working, but that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, welcome to an unknown <laughs> path. Yep. I helped make this scenario, so I'm pretty excited for it, because it's not very often that I make a scenario for a round <laughs> that I play. Most of the time, I kind of just sit back, let other people debate, hey, this is going to be fun, hey, this isn't going to be fun. You were responsible but, uh, for this. You were the reason we are here I, today. I am responsible for this, and I'm proud of it, because this is my 100th recorded round, at least <laughs> publicly. I have definitely played more than 100 if you're counting scrapped ones, but who's counting those anyway? I'm not. Not I'm me. I'm not. I, not I can't even count very high at all. I only have 10 fingers. That's true. I also only have ten fingers. I only have ten toes. I think and... most people only have ten fingers. Are you going to have to start counting with your toes now if you want to count rounds that you're playing? Yeah. It, it, once I get past 20, oh, I'm going to have to retire. Up. I see a village. Hold the phone. <gasps> Ooh. An unknown village. I, I saw the little church tower off in the distance. <laughs> I am scrambling to get to this. Anyway, welcome. This this might be the worst village I've ever. This is not the worst village I've ever found, but uh, needless to say, it's not a very good village. It doesn't have books. It's no, it has two houses and a well. Yikes. Yeah, it's no bueno. At least what is bueno is the amount of chickens and cows I'm finding. Some fresh water. That's true. There's not even a farm for them to use the fresh water though. Oh, that's pathetic. Yeah. They're, they're still they're still in the early days of Civ. <laughs> they're developing. But they're still hip enough to call it Civ. Yeah. They're like, hey, did you see how I developed the Civs looking lately, Jim? <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, it's we got a well now, bro. That, <laughs> that took months to make, man. Shouldn't we have like a farm, bro? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Bro, Can I'm hungry. <laughs> I, just I might just this, eat some grass instead, You just bro. built this well and you promised me some, some fresh wheat to <laughs> chew on. Oh my god. Uh, I am finding a ridiculous amount of animals. This oh my is god, the pigs in my texture pack look disgusting. I don't know what resource pack you're using, but I'm gonna trust you. It's the disgusting, ugly, muddy, like, baby fetus pig pack. Awesome. That's what it's that's, called, I swear. That's the description that I wanted to hear. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of y'all that are watching, but, uh, <laughs> that's... Moving on. Uh, I have 42 feathers. Nice. I have four. Nice. By the way, the season of Pathfinder is a one-piece crossover for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> we, we had to follow up a Cory in the house path with a one-piece crossover. We're really branching out sense. with those networking deals. Yeah. The 
Pathfinder budget after season 12 wasn't looking too pretty. Yeah, it was pretty, it was an apocalyptic look. Looking at the budget after that season, <laughs> you know? I'm trying to be funny, please someone laugh at me. The boom technician was surprisingly expensive. Oh yeah, very expensive. I really should just stop killing animals at this point. I've got like 50 feathers. I've got 18 pieces of leather. I don't need any more food. <laughs> but I'm just. At going some point, on you just need to stop spree. and sit down and realize it. Just you just think it feels good. That's okay. Yeah, it does. I need to stockpile all my chicken nuggies. That's okay, but you just need to be true to yourself about it. Yeah. Now I have to go through the tough choice of whether I eat. Chicken or steak for the rest of this game because I have enough of both to make do for the entire game. Um, could always do what I'm doing and go with pork chops. Mm, no. <laughs> what about no? What if I just disagree on that one? Hey man, the pig just looks so appetizing, so I'm like, mm, I, I, I think the chickens are more appetizing, my man, Mr. Teammate Man. But there goes everyone re logging. Oh, almost pressed tab on instinct, but. No, no, no. I haven't found sugarcane, though. I think that's my only issue. Um, I have also not. I have 48 beef and 56 chicken. I am doing plenty fine. I'm, I'm not even gonna be showing any more of these chickens. I'm oh, just... I found sugar cane. I got it. Thanks. Very nice Mr. Teammate person. Which is so useful because you are most definitely gonna find diamonds first. I just, I think I just found some sugar cane on my own. So. <laughs> You're gonna say diamonds? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, well, let me turn on this x-ray pack real quick. I'll find diamonds <laughs> in any moment. There's an incredible amount of animals. I am just shocked. <laughs> Welcome to the lush, mysterious Pathfinder 13 where we just mall animals for the entire first episode. Found those pigs you were talking about. <laughs> you said they were looking pretty delicious, didn't you? I don't know if they're the same pigs. <laughs> oh, they they the, might not be the same. I'm at the wall. How close oh, are you to that? Uh, I'm at neg 1000, neg 600. Okay, I'm at neg 1000, neg 40. Aha. So. We went in different directions. Well, not really. You're kind of at the wall, too. You're just at the wall like 600 blocks away. So I'll run that way. That gives me a nice direction to head. Just so we're not too split up. Alright, I have 62 feathers. I really need to stop. <laughs> I think I'm going to stick around on surface and cut down a few more trees. Try and get a couple more apples. Oh, that's mm. true. I didn't <laughs> I don't think I chopped down any oak trees. Cut down one. Alright, I have two apples now. I don't know if I should cut down more trees or not at this moment in time. I'll cut down these two, why not? Is the server lagging? Yep. Yep. The server was indeed lagging. <laughs> Confirmed. Jesus Christ, I just looked at my sword durability. What the hell? It, my sword's almost broken. <laughs> You have a problem, yeah. Jake. You need it. I have ten levels you of need XP. You need to stop from killing the these of animals, animals that you... I slaughtered. When you have like a big stone 
stick and you just are beating animals with it and that's almost broken you you need to acknowledge that you have, pro have a yeah, problem yeah i think i have a problem all right i now have exactly one stack of feathers Ooh. i went ahead and killed one more chicken Poking some fun. These leaves are decaying very slowly. I think I'm just gonna dig down now. I think I'm gonna do the same. I found At a surface cave. Dig. Right next to where I cut down my trees. I'm so used to playing 1.12 as of recent that, uh, this <laughs> I is kind of strange. Yeah. can spam click again. Not not just uh, the 1.12 UHCs, I've been playing some uh, survival with my IRL friends. Oh yeah. And uh, we played for four hours last night. And uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I uh, play a lot more survival than UHC2 now. The newer versions are like way cooler than this snapshot. Yeah. We're doing this thing, I don't know if you s I've been streaming it. Um, but I've been doing this thing called the 404 challenge, which is, it's like an ancient challenge for Minecraft, like back from like beta or something like that. I think I have heard of it um, before. It sounds but familiar. But it's, it's basically like you get the first 10 minutes on the surface and then when the sun starts to set, you have to, uh, go underground and you can never go back up to the surface again so you have to spend oh, the yeah, rest yeah, of yeah. the game underground i think i watched some someone do a series on that before i can't remember who it's uh quite interesting yeah that does sound <laughs> pretty interesting it, it's challenging at first but like once once you pass the curve of like getting potions then the game mostly is pretty easy you know what would be pretty cool? Uh, it, it might kind of remove the challenge because it like adds a bunch of stuff, but uh, in the newest version, there's actually a data pack that uh, generates cave biomes. Um, and like you'd be surprised. It looks like like an official update. I have no idea how it does it, but Interesting. it like actually generates biomes. So like you can find like underground like forests and villages and stuff like that. Interesting. And I feel like that would be a kind of interesting little challenge. There's like nether themed ones and like stuff. Some are super rare. But, um. <laughs> see. Yeah. I started an SMP with it like a few months ago and it's, uh, been like the coolest thing to explore. Sounds quite interesting. We're just playing in 1.15 right now, so... We're not After playing doing it for a while, it kind of made me, like, feel like, why does the regular game not have this? Mm -hmm. I started playing, like, a UHC, and I was like, these games suck. <laughs> Shout out to Lava Buckets for being able to cook stuff, by the way. I forgot they could do that. I use Lava Buckets to cook stuff all the time, it's so useful. You save so much time not having to mine coal using lava. I always do it for experience anyway, though. How do you get levels if you don't mine coal? You have a point. I mean, I just killed like a hundred animals, so <laughs> that's how I got levels. Oh, <laughs> that's how. Yeah. That makes sense. Quite the. It was an open slaughterhouse. One of them classic open slaughterhouses. Yeah. Never heard of them before? Oh, I've heard of them. Never been. Heard they're lovely this time of year. Cultured man. <laughs> I'm setting up my stuff to cook at the moment. Yeah, I'm just cooking some iron and staircasing, trying to find a... My surface cave has brought me down to diamond level, so oh, I'm gonna boy. try and follow that. I do hear a skeleton, so... Is it, uh, no name tags as well? I don't know. 
I actually never looked at you when we started, so I don't <laughs> know if it's no-name tags. Huh. Um, I feel like I did see name tags at spawn, so it's yeah, probably not. Spawn, so. For some reason, I thought it would be. That would have been pretty mysterious. Uh oh. Is the naked and afraid script not working? Should be. Skeleton down. Another skeleton. Oh, two more skeletons. You found a skeleton of them. Ooh, I just got a skelly bow. Nice. That didn't match as well as yours did, but uh, I got a skelly bow now, so. And it's actually decent durability. It's uh, 106 durability, so it's not that bad. That is pretty good. It will be useful my adventures at the very least it'll be good enough to shoot spiders from a distance mm -hmm. so you can just get another one super easy mm -hmm. go check on how my things are doing cool my stuff is Cooking. I think I'm gonna cook up my uh, my raw chicken, even though I absolutely don't need to. <laughs> Just uh, free XP, so you take those. This cave is not amazing, unfortunately. <laughs> At least you have a cave. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, I just dug into gold trying to see if there was any more lava. That's funny. I don't know why you it's... can't make stone tools with the the stone variant blocks. That's a good question. Makes them very useless. Yeah, especially in a UHC setting. They're more of a nuisance than anything. Yeah, I mean... Some of them look kind of nice. I really like Andesite. <laughs> yeah, Andesite looks very nice. But in UHC, they're just kind of a bother. Yeah. Kind of a nuisance. didn't. Okay, I was gonna finish cooking all this food, but nah. Sounds like I'm a roller just... coaster of emotions. Yeah, you're right. If that's a good way to describe it. Alright, cave gods, I would like to find a cave, please. One cave coming right Ooh, up. I hear... I hear me some new lava. Lava game. Hi, I'm Lava. I'm right here. 
Is it above me? I hear water now. I think it is above me. Yep. Most certainly was. I got some gold out of it. Y23 lava pool actually proving to be somewhat useful. <laughs> Not something that you see very often. Yeah, especially if you're like me and you can't even find a cave at all. And with that, on that the depressing the note. <laughs> yep. Bye. See you all next time. <laughs>